Yes. Very good morning. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the show, Le Coutu Mercredi. Thank you. What is uh, Arava Lispa? So the Aravali Spa is, uh, is a new spa um, that um, I founded here in Mauritius. It has a very different concept. Obviously, the name is from the Aravali Ranges in India because um, most of the treatments, most of what you see around here has been brought from there. But um, um, the concept here is actually quite different from other spas that I've been to or I've seen um, around the world and in Mauritius uh, in the sense that I actually want the, the, the customer to travel with time and travel um, to Ara Valley and experience the differences in, in, uh, in, in the products that we use, in, the, in the, um, the treatments that we offer, but more importantly I want the, the customer to feel very um, pampered, very sort of, it's a very personalized treatment that you get here. When you walk in you don't see many customers, you don't, we don't have a cashier, we don't have anyone asking you to pay and get in the room and then you leave afterwards. When you come here you sat down, you're given something to drink, you talk to, my staff will talk to you, make you feel very special, pampered and that's what a spa is about, that's why I go to a spa. And so I wanted to recreate this whole atmosphere here in Mauritius because um, I thought this was something that was lacking. Um, every time I come here I try to find a place like that and most of the spas in the region are actually very commercial so um, this is the reason why I created this and I'm sure when you walk through you probably notice that you know the place is very big and it's maybe too big for one customer but that's the whole concept I don't want to have people many people running around or you know make it feel commercial in a way you are the founder of a, of a structure of a company yes. of a spa yes when did you get the idea to, to do spa in Mauritius? So, um, the idea, I've always wanted to do it, so I built the place from scratch. So, the whole, um, everything from the doors, from the pools, from the, the furniture, from the decoration and all that, all the lamps and all that, I've been brought, I brought them from abroad. But the idea, I've always had it. It was more of, you know how it is, you have an idea and it sits with you for a long time. And then one day you just think, okay, look, I have to get it done and about five months ago I came to Mauritius and I thought okay look I really have to do this and so and then I found uh, Hansha who's now the manager and um, we thought okay let's get it off the ground. So how did you start it? There was an idea you've seen something did you experience a spa somewhere in, in, no, in the world? I did not experience it and that's why I thought okay this is probably a good idea to do it. So I used to go to spas and sometimes you'd read them in Condé Nast Traveler for example right so you think oh wow this place looks so amazing and but then when I'll go there and I'll feel like it wasn't really what I was expecting it was more a place where I paid and I got in a small room and I got a massage and then I left but I didn't feel like I didn't feel like I traveled. I didn't feel like I was pampered. I didn't feel like I was rested enough. I didn't feel like I was in a very sort of a peaceful place, you know, in a different world away from the city. It just felt very, just a massage place. And so that's why I thought, okay, I need to recreate this place that I, I couldn't find, that I wanted. And so I came up with this idea. So can I say a dream come true? In a way, yeah, yeah. I uh, obviously when I built it I wasn't expecting to be you know like this I um, it sort of surprised me in a way um, it, it is actually better than I thought so when in, was it difficult to, to do it in Mauritius you have so many spas I know of yeah you have five world you have big yeah. hotels you have you have outside also yeah. every every hotel Mauritius now yeah. busy yeah a famous hmm. spa yeah. attached to it yeah how are you doing to have uh, to have customers to have clients yeah it is uh, it is uh, quite competitive um, as a landscape um, especially here we've got so many hotels in the north and very good ones so it was very tough competition but we have something here that I I've stayed in many of these hotels and so yes the spas are very beautiful very nice but you don't get this personalized concept it is it is not as personalized as you would get here at the Air Valley Spa. Um, so this is something that's different, but also this is all we do here. We're just a spa, we're not a hotel. And so we are very good at what we do. We don't have, as, we don't have 50 treatments. We've only got three massages, we've got uh, three facials, we've got manicures and pedicures. Um, so we're very specialized in what we do. So when you come here, um, I would like to think yeah, that you're, you, know, you would come out extremely happy and extremely satisfied with your 
whatever you've had. Was and was it in your concept to have uh, let's say minimalist in services? Yes. Only or yeah. to have a long no, list no, no, no. of. Yeah, I, this is something that this is something that I would like to offer to customers. What we're really good at, and we cannot be good at ten thousand treatments, you know. So we came up with um, three treatments in each of the um, in facial scent massage and manicures, pedicures, and all that, that we offer, and we just uh, selected the best ingredients and we really try to go one step above anything else that there is available in the in the country or in actually in other countries too. And uh, so we, that's the reason why I don't want to offer 20,000 treatments. I think offering what you're really good at is what we need to do. Because again, the concept here is, is one where I want the customer to feel very satisfied, very personalized, and also um, I just want to be the best in what we do. So I can't do that by offering you many treatments which we're not specialized in. It's, it's the first time that somebody in the spa industry talk, talks about treatment. Uh, when you come to a spa, are you to be treated? What do a normal customer want to? Maybe you had your experience. What, what type of um, treatment that, that you would, would like your customers to have? When you talk about treatments. Yeah, when I say treatments, I actually mean um, uh, it could be a massage, it could be uh, some facial, or some people would uh, even go for. We actually have a ritual called the Arrow Valley Ritual, which takes about four hours, and that's a series of different treatments, um, which people like to, if you've got like four hours or so and you're really feeling burnt out, and that's probably the best thing for people to do. But um, it really depends on the person. I'd say about 70% of the people that come here for massages, because they want to, they, they probably have muscular pain or they're just tired or they just feel like there are too many knots in the backs and so on. So that's, um, that's our speciality. Um, but when I say treatment, I really mean, you know, it could be something for the skin. Um, many people have very sort of dull skin and they, if they want to revive it, so say they want to go, they go into a party or a wedding or something like that, uh, you could come and get one of the facials done and, you know, um, most of the people that, well actually all of them that have come out of that room there have had their skin glowing afterwards. And it's something that I actually pride myself in and I would actually, this is how I measure success. When these people walk out of the room and I'll ask every staff, was her skin different? Was her skin different? Did she feel it was different? Did he feel it was different? But do, and do, do you ask this question to, to, to your customer? Oh yeah, you, of course. Yeah. After four hours in the spa to, yeah. be, to, to do all these uh, yeah, yeah. treatments uh, or massages, depending what, what the person would like. Yeah. Do you talk to her and then something, maybe her, her pain? Well, yeah, is, yeah, more, yeah. is less painful, I can say? Uh, absolutely. I mean, before, if I'm here and I meet a customer, I will find out what the customer's looking for, obviously. And me, um, you know, given that I want to, it's, it's a brand. The Ara Valley brand is, is my brand, and obviously it's something that I care a lot about. And for me to uplift the brand, I want to make sure the customer gets what he or she wants. And so the first thing I would do is I would ask the customer, I would not ask directly, but you try to find out what they want, why they're here. And when they leave the place, um, I really want to make sure they've had what they wanted. If it was, you know, glowing skin, the skin is glowing. If it was muscular pain, it's gone. It was just a really good massage, they've had it. But um, a lot of people also come here because they just feel a bit burned out. So by the time they leave this place, and I can tell, you know, if someone comes out of a treatment room, I can tell if they're much more relaxed. And most of the time, actually, all times, they, they are just the way you talk to them, they actually want to talk to me. You know, they, usually um, if a customer comes, I would, in my head, I'll be thinking, okay, they must be very busy, they'll probably want to go home. But when someone finishes the treatment here, they get some food, they get tea, they get coconut water, and all sorts of things to eat and drink. And I'm actually surprised by how much time they're willing to spend just to talk to us. But that's um, proof that they've actually felt a bit, they're more relaxed than when they went in. And so, to me, it means a lot. It means that they've, they've, um, it worked. Because I want them to be relaxed. I want them to feel, you know. It's important for you in, a, in, in your, your brand to have this connection, to talk, instead of to be, to come in, to, yeah. to, to, to stay silent. Good morning, good afternoon, thank you. And then eventually, it's, it is important for yeah. you, Vic, to have this interaction, yeah. to, to see what is the state of mind of yeah, your, yeah. your client. Yeah. It is, um, I actually come from a financial background, and so in finance we don't talk. Um, yes, we don't talk, at all, yeah. And so for me, when I opened this, it was actually very different for me because everyone wanted to talk. So afterwards, people would be willing to sit down and talk to me and talk to me about what they do. And if it's a tourist, like what they've been doing on the beach, where they go, and so on. And it's something I found. Um, 
in a way um, very um, surprising um, in a really good way um, I actually thought it'd be very um, stressful industry as stressful as finance but I guess because actually maybe because we offer such a good service and I'm not bragging about it but it's just proof that we offer a good service as in the customer comes out and feels so much better and they need to talk to, to everyone and uh, you know it's it's something that I enjoy I didn't think I would I didn't think I would get it but surprisingly it happens a lot in the next two two questions, there's one word that came many times, yeah. burnout. So burnout, yeah. are there many motions or hmm. tourists coming to, yeah. to, to get out of the... Yes. To, to what, what is the opposite of burnout burning? Uh, no, to feel... To, just to, so, so a lot of people come here, um, Mauritius especially. Um, we've got people that come here every week. Um, they, and we can tell that they... I mean. It's, we know what they do, some very high profile, profile people to come here and they obviously you can tell they've had tough week or tough days. Um, they come here just to feel a lot more relaxed afterwards and uh, um, it's mostly common with the Mauritians. With the tourists usually they come here because you know they've got some time left or they're just on holiday and you know why not go to a spa. But uh, Mauritians typically we find that they come here because they've been burnt out. Yeah. A lot of you seen a lot. A lot of yeah, I'll say I don't want names. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, yeah, is, yeah. It, is it coming like uh, diabetes, like obesity, Mauritius? We are going to be burnt out because the system is now that everyone works nearly 24 hours a day. Uh, I don't know if it's related to diabetes or so directly, but um, there are many people that um, I would say about, uh, if I had to quantify, probably about 60% of the customers that come here are locals. And, um, and uh, you know, you can tell usually if someone's had a tough day, um, maybe they don't want to talk or they're just in a bad mood, but then when they come out, they're fine. You know, so that happens a lot. Tell me what are what are the services that that you offer at Aravali Spa? So we have uh, obviously massages. Our massages are probably the um, the uh, the the more popular ones that we have. Um, there's one which is a signature massage. Um, it's uh, it's a 90 minutes uh, treatment. Now the concept behind this was something that I came up with myself because it's again I couldn't get it elsewhere. So what it was, so you know when you hear the term aromatherapy, you expect to smell the yeah. aromas, right? So when you go in a room and very often it's happened, and I've been to big spas before, and they would use these oils. Um, that was way back when I wasn't so much into the industry, and I would smell it at first, and after about five minutes I wouldn't smell it anymore so I would be tempted to think okay the oil they're using is not as good as I thought it would be but what actually happens is your nose gets used to it yeah. so then you stop smelling it so the concept of this uh, our signature massage is that we use three types of oils on different parts of your bodies so you keep getting different uh, scents and aromas every time so it's a really a treatment that makes you travel with the oils with the aromas now also we use uh, herbal poultices on the back to release tension and so on but um but apart from that uh, what i pride myself more here is the the um the pressure that we apply on the knots and and muscles to really get the the, the pain in the knots away so that's something that when i was recruiting here this was the first thing i was looking for because it's the most important thing really Pancha, was it easy for us, Vic said, to, to hire, to get employees, to have a, a good touch for Aravali Spa? It, uh, it wasn't that, that easy because we were, we were looking for the, one of the best that we have on the island and I think we come up with some really good therapists with uh, more than five years of working experience and some really like facialist and uh, really good uh, therapists in massage also. It was, it was hard but it pays off. What do you mean by therapist? For, for me therapist is not the same. What, what, is, what is your definition to be a therapist in, in a spa? I usually, actually, I usually use the name of practitioner. Practitioner. Because, yeah, because I, I think the the a practitioner, they practice the massage, they practice the facial. They 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 are beauty. They are beauty doctors. I say mostly when when I have my 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 girls doing facials, I always say like you are you are like 
doctors, you give prescription, you analyze faces, you treat the, the type, the, the skin type, the, the skin um, problems, uh, everything. So I normally use practitioner because they do, they practice everything. So the, we, we should have some, some learnings? some studies in dermatology? Mm, no, because it's two different things actually. Being um, a beautician and a dermatologist is two different things. Dermatologist is more clinical and a uh, beautician is for beauty, is, to, is more um, cosmetics, is to make you feel beautiful, to make your skin radiant, but it's nothing with medicines, with the clinical, we do nothing with needles and anything. No, no, I, don't, I, yeah. I, I wasn't talking about needles, but <laughs> no. let you know what is a greasy, greasy Definitely. tone, greasy, dry skin, a like skin. Uh, <coughs> this is this is for sure. This is definitely the, the 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 basic information that they have to 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 know about. They have to to know everything about the skin, what type of skin, and the problems that they have, how to treat it. But there's nothing medical or dermatologist with it. Is the face a easy area to, to, to work because there are so many muscles, so many exactly. expressions. Exactly. Life is from our face. We can you can see somebody in front of his face. What is his state of mind? Right. So true. Um, the face is actually the the most sensible part of the body to work with. It is very you have to be very meticulous while while touching the face because the it it it, it it changes with with the, the weather. It changes the type of skin changes with the weather, with 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 um, the, the, the the stress and everything. So it is eventually a very difficult part of the body. Whenever a customer comes in, mm -hmm. we take a lady. Do you have you have a very good sketch of her before and then? But the after, you look on the after to see. Wow, she's changed. Yes. She's bet. She's better. Maybe she's um, uh, as Vic said that you do facial for wedding. So she's <laughs> the stress of the marriage is over. She's <laughs> getting married. You have a look in, into that. I do have definitely a look in, in, into it because I, what I always tell my customer when they do when they do facials is that you'll definitely see the the results afterwards because whenever they enter, I, I analyze. I myself analyze their skin and they go inside. They work with the petition and when they come outside, I go back and see like this this have changes and they look into the mirror. I will, I will go with them to look into the mirror to see the difference of the radiance here officially the radiance will have a, an instant change. L last question, whenever you do a facial, do, do, do you, you give advices to your customer not to do certain things, yes. not to go, Definitely. not to do? Yes, we do, we do. What to eat, what to drink also, which is very important, connects directly with the face, uh, facial skin. We definitely give prescriptions and advices and everything. Was it easy for you to, to recruit, to having a, the perfect person for the p perfect job? Um, it, it wasn't. It was actually quite difficult. Um, the problem we have here again is the pressure. Um, in Mauritius, obviously, it's not something that Mauritius sort of prizes stuff on compared to, say, Bali or Thailand, for example, because there it's obviously very common, so people are very well trained. Here, so what we've done is, what I've done is um, with a bunch of friends that came down, so we went to test all the different spas and we found the people that were very good at it and then we recruited them that way and same thing for you know whether it was the manager or the uh, person specializing in the massage or the facials and um, so we really handpicked them let's go to the facial is there some something special to you here when you do facials? Yes, yes. Uh, so we have the 24 karat gold facial, which is very popular uh, because we use gold. Um, now, a lot of people tend to think that uh, it's uh, going to make your face shiny and all that. No. I mean, we have uh, gold powder, which is real gold dust that we use in this. But the, um, the facial is, uh, is really uh, something different compared to uh, other facials that I've seen elsewhere in the sense that it's all natural, obviously. So we don't use any chemicals. But the effect that you get when you get out of it, so it really sort of provides you with this list lifting effect so the fine wrinkles all of that would be gone temporarily but also your skin would really glow 
And that's something that I really, I'm very, very, um, it's something that I look for. If someone comes out of a treatment room and the skin is indifferent, I just don't feel satisfied. And then we would try to find out why it didn't work out. So all the stuff will come together and we're going to think, okay, what went wrong? You know, what was wrong there? What did we, maybe we didn't use something properly or not. Um, so that's the, that's the signature facial that you like, 24 karat gold. Last question, Vic. How do you did you decide to to open in a, we, we call it the bath season, Mauritius, the yeah. love season? Was yeah. it strategy, or well, you had to start, but it was in the no, in it, love it actually, season. It was actually a strategy. So you know, obviously, this is all new here, especially in Mauritius. Um, so we thought, you know, why not start in low season? And in a way, it also gives me a bit more training, and um, we find out what works and what doesn't. We fix it. So you know, whenever we become busy next year or in December, we were able to cope with it. So yeah. you have been able to fine tune, do yeah. some fine well, thank tuning. Thankfully, we were actually very well prepared, more prepared than we thought we would be. Um, so we actually didn't have any problem as such. Um, the only thing that we had to fine tune was um, just you know little things like what we offer people to eat afterwards and so on. But that's just uh, we're going to change it with every season anyway. So uh, very good point uh, about your point, uh, Vic. But if I come here, mm -hmm. I, I eat something, I yeah. like it. Yeah. Next time that I come here, yeah. you're going to please me by giving the, the, the food, the yeah. stuff yeah. that I like. This is, this is in your concept? Yeah, so, so because we're so personalized, we're so small, we can only take two people at a time and you probably will not see the other customer because we want to keep it very private. We don't want someone to come in and find someone else sitting next to you. We want, to, we want you to feel like the whole place is yours. And so obviously we get to know you very well. And so we know most of our customers really well we know what they like to eat what they like to drink what they what sort of um, uh, oil they like and what they don't like and so when they finish the treatment we actually give them whatever they want um, not whatever they want but within limits of course um, we give them fruits yogurt teas coconut water and you know we, we usually know our customers really well better than I guess others would because we're so small and private and we spend so much time with them and so that's something we really pride ourselves on so how do you see Arrival spine in the coming years. I don't, don't, I don't talk about December. Yeah. But uh, 2000 and let's say 20. We we'll go two years from here in 2020. Um, for me, it's the brand. The brand is everything for me, and um, hopefully we open up uh, more and uh, we go international. That's my plan. International. When, yeah. when you go international, this means that. Uh, you go where you have you, you already have your plan to so, so we've had a few a few places but obviously we too it's too early um, um, there are some places that I would like to open up regional when I mean Reunion Island Madagascar Como uh, no, no it would probably be, be further north yeah it would probably be, or something yes, it would probably be um, obviously it's a, it's a concept that I have to make sure that it gets that people it, it won't be something that you know would be um, easy to implement in all countries. Um, so we'd have to be very careful, you know, where you have this sort of spa culture. Um, but also, as you can see, the whole, the whole brand and concept comes together largely because of the architecture as well. And so that's something that I need to have there first or maybe built from scratch. And so all of that coming to, it's not like I can just go and rent, a, you know, um, a few rooms in a building and then create the Arvali Spa. It doesn't happen. So that's the hard part. And so to recreate the Arvali Spa, say, in Dubai or so, you probably have to build the structure again. Yeah. Do you think you will be able to, to import there the motion touch? Uh, yes, there are certain. Actually, we use a lot of um, a lot of uh, local produce in our uh, treatments, and so we would. Uh, if I was to expand, I'll probably use the same ones because I want to keep the brand uniform and international. And you know, everywhere you go, you get exactly the same service. Exactly what, are, the same. what are the local products? The local produce would be uh, especially the fruits, like uh, the uh, fruits and honeys and coconuts and all coconuts. that. So all that's from here, yeah. The coconut from Mauritius is adapted to, to, to your work, the type of treatment that you would like? We but because coconuts are everywhere in the world. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you could use it. Of course, it doesn't, it really won't make a difference if I used the Thai coconut or the coconut from here. But the concept, because it's the first one, the concept would come from here. Um, but of course, if I go to, you know, say we open one in Dubai, it wouldn't be very easy for me to bring coconuts from Mauritius to Dubai. So then we'd have to use something else. But the concept would be from here. Big yeah. thank you very much. Thank you.